What's going on everyone? Welcome back to JR Hikes and I'm JR and it is time for Let's Talk Gear. Today we're going to be going over the two different water bottle holders that I have encountered. So on me, I have the Gossamer Gear Bottle Rocket, and then there is the, uh, the Z-Pax Water Bottle Sleeve. I like to keep my water right here on a chest when I'm on a trail. So one of the main things that I like is ease of function. As far as weight goes, the Gossamer Gear is like 1.39 ounces, whereas the Z-Pax is I think right at an ounce. So obviously uh, z packs taking the lead on that. Uh, and then as far as size goes, they're almost identical in size as far as how tall they are and how wide they are. They've got this Robic nylon that they're using uh, for this. Uh, and it's kind of a stretchy material, whereas the z packs has a, a mesh, it's a mesh sleeve. And then on the back of it, it's got Dyneema. And, and then obviously the... Um, the straps that hold it to the to the shoulder straps. So as far as mounting these things on the strap itself, I'm not quite sure why Gossamer Gear uses these nylon straps to hold it on there. But as far as putting those on, it's as simple as taking these, looping them through the daisy chain, okay? And then on the other side, they snap together. Now, as far as the Z-Packs goes, you actually have to undo here. So you're, you're, you're going to take this strap off of your shoulder strap. You're going to slide the sleeve over the shoulder strap. And then they come with these little shock cords and barrel locks, okay? You take those shock cords and you run them back behind the daisy chain and loop them in and then cinch it down. And that pretty much holds it in place. And it is, it's on there. Here is the downside. There's a reason why I'm doing this video. First off, a lot of people have asked me. I, I did the Foothills Trail and a lot of people have asked me, JR, why do you have your water bottle upside down in your water bottle sleeve? The only thing I don't like about this is this. You take the water bottle out. You take a drink of your water. You want to put that thing back? Good luck, okay? Uh, I don't, and this may be me. Put it down in the comment section below if I'm doing this wrong. I've got this set up. I'm pretty sure 100% on how to get this attached to the, to the strap itself. Now, getting this put back into the sleeve is near impossible. I can't get this thing to situate and put this down in there. <laughs> I'm telling you what, this is a problem for me. So when you're hiking, you get frustrated. You can't get it in there. So what I started doing was made sure that my cap was on tight. I would turn it upside down. And then I could just slide the water bottle down in there and I would walk with it like that. I'm pretty sure that that's not how and why it's designed the way it is. Here's the reason why I switched to the Z-Packs, okay? I'm gonna do this nice and easy with one hand inside of five seconds. Are you ready? Water bottle out, drink some water right back in there. It's that simple with the Z-Packs. That in and of itself is the reason why I switched to the Z-Packs. But let's take this off and I'm going to show you how easy it is with a one liter bottle. Just for some reason, I don't understand this whole setup and, and how that is supposed to work and how I'm supposed to get that bottle in there this way. So sometimes I would get lucky and I could slide that thing right just like that. Sometimes I would get lucky and it would still get caught on this bottom one. So you got to fidget with it to get that in there. And it just, it was not the easiest thing to work with. Gossamer gear. Here is my thing to you. The Z-Packs, I don't know if you can see that, but the Z-Packs, see how it stays open? Okay. You've got this, it's like a, um, almost like a zip tie, like a really fat zip tie that goes around the, that, that top lip there. Okay. So it gives you an opening and it stays open, okay? So when I want to put a bottle in there, boom, it's that simple, okay? Little plastic ring, put that in there, Gossamer gear, put that in there. I don't remember prices. That's one thing I didn't look at. My apologies. I'll throw those up on the screen right now. So 
Um, I, I'm pretty sure they're relatively the same. Uh, but the big thing to me is, again, ease of function. And when I'm looking at the Z-Packs versus the Gossamer gear, ease of function, hands down, Z-Pack wins. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, please feel free to do so. Make sure to click that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I come out with another video. And if you have found that this content is useful to you, please click that like button. That does help with the algorithm and move things along, and it makes it visible for other people to see. And if you haven't yet already, check out jrhikes.com. Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys in the next video.